Hi, just a quick follow up to my main channel video about uh, the uh, alkaline battery discharge test electric boogaloo. I've got uh, 13 sets of batteries here, lucky 13. I've got uh, two of each different uh, type that I had available. And silly me, I didn't put my thinking cap on in the previous video when I said, oh, I'll just use like a 10 ohm resistor on each uh, pair, for example, and I will just uh, discharge them for like 24 hours or something with a 10 ohm resistor. Oh, if you actually do the calculations, um, you can't just use like a 10 ohm quarter watt resistor. Oops, you need like almost a, like 0.9 watts or something. So I need, uh, well maximum, so I need uh, needed a whole bunch of like one watt 10 ohm resistors and I just uh, don't have those in my kit. Like I got, you know, more than enough quarter watt resistors, but I don't have in the huge volumes that I would require to like put multiple resistors in parallel to try and get a one watt resistor and all that sort of jazz. So that wasn't going to work. So I decided, bugger it, I'll just whack them all in series and discharge it with a constant current. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to discharge with a hundred milliamps for 24 hours or uh, 86,400 seconds. So that means that uh, that'll give a, roughly, based on say the Duracell uh, data sheet, that'll give a, basically a one volt end voltage. Um, so I didn't want to pull up every data sheet and every some data sheets aren't available uh, for these uh, crap brand ones and things like that. Others just don't have a characteristic curve for 100 milliamp discharge. So I'm going to say, you know, they're all roughly equivalent in terms of uh, capacity, give or take, you know, 5% or something perhaps. So uh, there's probably not going to be a you know a lot in it so i'll take a figure of 100 milliamps for 24 hours so 2400 milliamp hours uh, total will be extracted from these batteries and i'll do this twice uh, one of them i'll just like leave with no load and the other one i'll actually put a small load i might actually leave them all in series and actually put just one uh, 10 microamp constant current load on the whole string for storage. What do you think? Rather than having to disconnect it all and then just solder on individual resistors on each one, I think I'll just do it for the whole string. Anyway, uh, so that's the plan. So I've got it hooked up to my electronic load here and I'm about to run a 24 hour test. So I've set it to 0.1 amps here, 100 milliamps. Uh, voltage stop, I'd, I'm not gonna stop on voltage. So if any of these happen to go reverse voltage or whatever, yeah, I'm just gonna have to live with it. Okay, so I'm not worried about that. Um, uh, the current stop, I'm not worried about that. Oh, sorry, capacity stop, milliamp hour stop. Not gonna worry about that. But the time stop, 86,000. 1400 seconds is 24 hours uh, the voltage on will be 0.5 volts so that should work so I don't use this all that often how do I run it so I'm running the battery app um, do I just I think I just hit on don't I uh, I think that's how I started can't remember anyway let's go Ta -da! and there it is so I've got 40 volts uh, total and we'd expect that to drop a bit, it's drawing that 976. That's a bit disappointing. Why isn't it exactly one amp? I want to do one amp constant current. Or anyway, I'll just leave it at that. 0.024 watt hours, 24 seconds. I'm going to assume that is on. That is definitely on time stop, 24 hours. So I'll just come back tomorrow at uh, it's now three o'clock. On a Saturday, so I'll come back through. Hopefully, if I'm available, I'll come back three o'clock tomorrow and just double check that it's actually, or maybe slightly before then, and double check that it's switched off. But anyway, there you go. I'm going to uh, one milliamp hour extracted total. So anyway, I'll come back and it should give us a nice uh, total there. So I don't have to be there when it ends. It should just automatically stop after 86,400 seconds, and it should give us the total uh, milliamp hour. Uh, extracted and the watt hours as well but we don't care about the watt hours all we care about so we're going to suck out uh, 24 uh, tw yeah, 2400 uh, milliamp hours out of these things and uh, we'll see what happens so there you go um, that's it I'll come back tomorrow anyway catch you next time